So come over onto the hands and knees, the hands just beneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. You're going to stretch the right leg out and away behind, so bringing the ball of the foot all the way down onto the floor and really pressing the weight backwards towards the right heel. Drop the top of the right thigh, feel that you can open the back of the right leg, stretch the knee wide, but try to keep your right hip dropping forwards a little bit and the left hip extending back so the pelvis is even. Feel the stretch through the calf, through the hamstring, and through the back of the knee. Shoulders soft, face a little bit relaxed. So deep, breathe, deepen the breathing here to open into the back of the right leg itself. Staying with an easy flow of breath. And when you're ready to do so, just start to shake out that right leg, lift it up a little bit from the floor, give it a shake, let the muscles relax. And then allow the whole of the right leg to flop back down onto the floor. No effort whatsoever, no holding whatsoever, let it release. Repeating again, stretching away through the center of the right heel. Draw up through the top of the right thigh, press away through the back of the right leg. Next, nice and long, shoulders are soft. Breathing into the back of the leg, let it lengthen, let it open, let it broaden, let it expand. Feel the muscles stretching here and then give the leg a good shake, let the muscles release. And then just allow the leg to come to rest all the way down onto the floor, no effort whatsoever. Take a moment just to bring the forearms down onto the ground. Keep the spine nice and long, keep the neck soft. It's taking the pressure off the arms, breathe into the belly, breathe into the hips. Let the feet relax, let the toes relax. And then once again, coming all the way up to all fours, this time with the left leg, stretching the left leg out and away. Press through the center of the left heel, open the back of the knee. Imagine that you can suck the thigh muscles up against the thigh bones, but keep the right hip drawing back a little bit, left hip shifting forwards a little bit, so you don't lift up through one side of the pelvis. We're gonna shake the leg, lengthen it out, and then drop the knee down onto the floor. Again, stretch away through the center of the heel, work through the back of the leg. Stay with the breathing, shoulders nice and soft. Deep inhales, long exhales. Feeling the spine's nice and long, the neck is nice and long. And then when you're ready, giving the leg again a big shake. Shaking it out as much as you can, kicking out through the leg, letting the foot release all the way down onto the floor. And then bring the big toes together, take the knees wider apart. Come to rest into a child's pose with the hips as flat as possible down towards the heels the forehead releasing towards the ground below and take a few deep breaths, just noticing a sense of space through the hips, of broadening in the lower back, opening through the kidneys each time you breathe in, softening and letting go into the exhalation, slowing your breathing right down. 